Well, hello and welcome. Well, today we're at the uh, Albuquerque Rose Garden, and it's become kind of a uh, tradition. Uh, I think I think this is the third time I've been here. Uh, we're going to celebrate what's called Mother's Day, celebrating and honoring all the mothers across the U.S. and maybe beyond. I I don't know, <laughs> but we're going to uh, walk around and enjoy the roses. I think it's a little bit early from what I read, but there's still some roses out here to enjoy. I think they're more uh, fully bloom at the end of May. But some of these are quite pretty. Got every color from peach to yellow to white and of course red and beyond. But I've come here before when it was just a little too late. You'd think, oh, nice uh, warm summer. They've all dried up and wilted, so it's better to be a little bit early. This is a library right here. It's kind of nice to have that uh, as a centerpiece. Little map of the place right here. If you want to know exactly where you are. Don't forget the trees. Beautiful trees are just as important as the flowers. Got a bird chirping away and a, a dove cooing in between the traffic noise. And that pesky helicopter. <laughs> Nice little uh, grassy area right here. Check out the neighbors across the street. What a nice landscape. They've got some climbing roses, some nice uh, decorations. And this library is the Tony Hillerman Library. If you don't know who Tony Hillerman, he was a... Uh, uh, a fiction writer very popular I read a bunch of his books and uh, mostly about the reservations and all these characters it was really quite fascinating well there's some vibrant red for you very nice Love it. And the little baby roses, red and white. Now, 
Now, my mother uh, passed away about uh, over 23 years ago. And uh, I know I mentioned a lot about my dad, what he instilled in me, and the plants and flowers and artwork and looking at things in wonder. But my mom was a very respected Christian at her church. She did so much. She uh, started a, a library at her church. She, um, uh, she started a uh, study class program. She did so much. She went uh, above and beyond, and I'm glad she instilled that in me. It, uh, it gave me my faith, and it's uh, just a good base, a good base to have. And like I've said before, I, uh, I respect and uh, study different types of religions because the, the, main, the main thread, the main theme is uh, just love. Love uh, your neighbor as yourself. We all got to get along. Ah, uh, these are beautiful deep red or kind of a maroon. Here's a whole section here of, um, I guess they call them miniature roses. Pretty, pretty. Always get a kick out of this sign right here. You take a rose, we take your picture. And we hunt you down. Over there behind that pillow right there. And these purple ones that are up here on the front right there. Yeah. Wow, I've never smelled a rose that potent. Now that's a beautiful shade of, uh, uh, I don't know. What is that color? Love the sun, just uh. of the grounds here and I think we've seen all the roses that are available it's quite nice nice little day nice little way to honor the mothers all you mothers out there happy Mother's Day no matter what capacity if you're a mother in any way you deserve to be honored it's a lot of hard work well I think that's gonna do it we might find some interesting things on the way out but uh, take care of yourself and those around you have a wonderful week wonderful month and a wonderful year see you soon take care of yourself and those around you bye for now well what do we have here it's raising canes chicken fingers Louisiana style well the big deal is this is the first one here in Albuquerque and I believe in New Mexico I heard they're going to build more uh, in New Mexico, and they're not sure where yet. Now, on opening day, which was about a week ago, there was over 200 people waiting in line, uh, just wrapped around the block there. That must be some good chicken.
Oh, wow. The fence is gone. You can drive through here now. Oh, be darned. Oh, cool. That fence was up for the longest time. Let's see how the construction is going. I've done several videos here at the uh, Windrock Center, well, Windrock Town Center, uh, such a staple of Albuquerque and coming here as a kid, what have you. And uh, every so often I'll come back and do a, uh, just kind of an update. I showed uh, pictures of the plans uh, of this place, gonna have a nice water feature. And it looks like a bridge right there. It's starting to shape up, pretty awesome. Nice to see something started. See if I can find a picture of their their plans. I thought it was going to be out there on the other side of that drive through there, but I think this is going to be the uh, the center of it all. There's two Dillards here. That always always gets me. But uh, I'm not sure what that little building is there. Maybe a visitor center or something, but. Ah, glad I came by and checked it out. Next time we're back by here down the road, we'll see how far they've come. And of course, we'll come here when it's all ready to go. God willing. Hello. Juliet. I've been down here waiting for you, Juliet. Well, I decided to take a little reprieve from the hot sun, come to this nice park here while I was in the area. Instead of just racing home to a hot, empty house, such a nice, cool breeze. This is so nice. So nice. Now, believe it or not, I actually lived in this area. I know I've said many times that places I grew up, but this was just a short while, maybe one year old to five, probably. And I actually went to about a half year to this elementary school across the street here called Inez Elementary. Oh, so nice to just take a break. I guess the wind destroyed some of the branches, huh? Yeah, and I just came from Cutler Park, and there was a tree maybe 16 feet tall. Really? And like half of it was, came off and was just laying on the ground. Oh boy. Yeah. Hi, puppy. This is Daisy. She's a puppy. Oh, how cute. That's a Boston Terrier, right? It is, yeah. Hi. All excited? <laughs> oh, hey. oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I love dogs. You are so cute. Yeah, I actually was a little kid in this area. Oh, you were. I had a few years up here, but lived here all my life. I went to school right there. Oh, you did? Our yeah. Kids did too. You're talking like so many years ago. <laughs> yeah, sure. I don't want to say the years, but. <laughs> Dog slobber. <laughs> <laughs> 